Okay, well, the pandemic's, I don't know, over. I'm not quite sure. But still haven't visited, so I figured I'd bring you to me. Or me to you? I don't know. Anyway, this is 31 Church Ave. Doing a little bit of, see, that's all down. I'm reinventing the cooling system. So this was installed. This is kind of nice. Water. Water's kind of nice. We're all flowing. Cool. Clear. Water. Kind of nice. Turlet. Two turlets. Stacko metal. Yeah, there used to be a, but I like you see that there. It went all the way over quite the quite the ghetto construction anyway that's all been cleaned out thank you very much here is let's start here because here we are um i don't have it going this is more of a winter time activity but basically as you can see there's a grill grill gets hot sand gets hot and then you make shit out of it here's some of the pieces that i've made what can I show you? Nothing really spectacular. If you do lots and lots of um, layers, you get stuff like this. I usually start with a core cardboard form that I wrap the plastic around. Here's the plastic I've been using lately. It's a, it's a low linear density polyethylene. It's used for wrapping pallets, shrink wrap. Um, if you get the sand just the right temperature, it'll fuse together. This is too cold. This is too hot. This is what happens when you get it too hot. It basically turns to a liquid. Um, but it does a really nice job of embedding the sand. This is what happens when you use different colored plastic bags and whatnot. So basically anything that is a thermoplastic and film so all the polyethylenes uh, I mean there's just a shit ton of them that can be worked um, this is black plastic if you use that on your outer layer you uh, have protection from the sun more things some things don't work you can use them and embed pretty things in there all sorts of shit that's with the gas. Again, too hot. Um, you can make uh, tubes. This can be a temporary form that you can see you can grind away, grind away, um, and that's the at form. <clears throat> this is really kind of what started. I was working on a sandwich or a panini maker. This is a fresh direct bag. <coughs> no, I don't like that one there. Um, and I noticed that if you use sand as a release, it would become embedded. So then I thought, hey, why not just heat up the sand? Why not? Why not? Why not? You get little footies, all sorts of shit. Um, you can put that. I didn't get hot enough, but you can make little um, things, things. And this is me cleaning up the shop inside here. So hold on. You got to be quiet. Oopsie. I don't know how to make you quiet. There you go. Quiet. Um, so, what's this? This is our PID controller. Um, don't quite have the wiring right yet, but basically, sand comes through here. Hot, 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 hot. This one, I'm just, that's just an extra. Hot, 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 hot. Thermocouple tells me how hot, hot, hot. And hopefully, we get hot, hot sand. What else, what else, what else? Uh, these are some projects I'm starting with the plastic. So somewhat uh, ambitious, ambitious, but not but. And I just think that if you can create these floating bits and pieces, then, um, what's that, can I turn this around? Nope. 